If you not fucking with Philly, my nigga, we not fucking with you. Two of my pops will be fucking die, feel me, homie? Welcome back to Etc. Podcast. We got Mark to my weast. Okay. Clint to my east. How are y'all doing today? Did you mean... Yeah, I'm doing good. I already good. said what I'm doing. Good. Good. That's I'm doing why good. I like, you know. I'm doing good. Quinn, how are you doing? I'm good. <laughs> okay. Like, hey, doing a little spiel about, a... about the world. No, no. Well, I'm a little sick. <laughs> no, still. don't do it anyway. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, I was just saying because you guys like how I'm doing. I'm a little, little under the weather, but I'm okay. And I was just telling these guys how I had a panic attack on my way here because I, I started to think about. If, it's good life. Just, just, if, if, start from Frank Ocean. <laughs> so I was listening to Frank Ocean. I was listening to Channel Orange, Bad Religion, and then you know I was start. Then he started singing other songs where he was like uh, something about space. I don't. I forget what song. And then I was just like, Yo, astronauts really know what the Earth look like. And I'm like, What does this shit really look like? How Wally looks like? Cause you know, <laughs> plastic, air pollution, Earth's dirty as shit. And I'm just like, people. They probably actually have to go home and tell their family like, "Yo, we gonna die like next week. Can't can't prevent it." And then you know, it's like, then I started thinking like, "What if religion ain't real? What if God ain't real?" I'm like, "We just died and that's it. You know, we just just nothing. We just gonna die and you don't you don't you can't even like visit people as a spirit. What the internet that shit real? What's happening you now?" Uh, no, but I'm just yo. There first of all, wait. Can I tell you my dream? Can I tell you my dream though? So That's your first. Friend, all right, all right, all right. Your dream. Just remind my dream is about like some evil ghosts and shit. All right? Okay. So like anyway, cause y'all know what happens. I'll be having my. Just talk. All right, 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 all right. All right, all right. <laughs> so. <laughs> So yeah, that's basically what I was having my panic attack about. Cause then I started, you know, I've always had this fear of like, not really a fear of death, just like a fear of what happens after it. So, cause you know, we always get told like, oh, you become a spirit, your body, say, you, like your soul goes on forever. Catholic school stuff. <laughs> yeah, Catholic school stuff, your soul goes on forever. There's a heaven and a hell. But then I started thinking like, what if there's no heaven or hell? And there's nothing, it's just you by yourself in a void. What if there's not even that? That's what scares yeah. me the most is if there's literally nothing. Like, I don't care if I'm like in a void, like, you know, just by myself in a dark room or something, like, you know, in a dark area, you know, when you die, but like, that's the scary part. That's when I have my panic attack is like, nothing. <laughs> I, I would I would be fine if I was literally just in a white room. Like, it just like, like Squidward. Squidward. <laughs> yeah, like, I'll be perfectly fine. <laughs> Hello? Yeah, yeah, I'll be perfectly fine with it. I'm all Like, of course I would, alone. of course I would have <laughs> to like, words. put it in my own head that it's like, all right, this is it. <laughs> but like, it'll take a while for that. But eventually, like, I'll just be fine. I'll probably be like that giraffe and like, um, robot chicken. <laughs> it's like, oh god. Just, yeah, I'll, have, I'll have my stages of like, you know, breakdown. But eventually, I'll just be like, you know what? This is it. I mean, I, I like take that. me, oh sweet death. <laughs> <laughs> fine with it. Sometimes I wonder, like, maybe we just like dream on forever. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that because my dreams be art. Sometimes my dreams be scary. I'm like that. <laughs> Going so now transitioning to that, I had a so like I always had this thing where I believe I like see because you know I always Evil had ghosts. ghost stories and huh? Evil ghosts from reminding you. Oh yeah, always had like go. <laughs> always had experiences where like I, I see shit when I take my naps. So today I woke up at like early as shit, uh, like some dirty. I fell back asleep. And so I was like, I started to dream again, but this time it was like crazy because I, I was tell, talking to this girl. Ooh. I know, right? <laughs> I, wonder, I wonder how far I'm gonna take it. <laughs> no, it's gonna stop as soon as he's about to get. It was like a, it was like a group thing. <laughs> I and, then I, and then I woke up. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I was talking to this girl. She was like telling me about this person, and it was like someone That's she bandaid. knew, huh? That's Mandy. Thanks. And the first time I had it looked like it was like real pointy and I didn't like it, so I had to like <laughs> just smushed it. <laughs> Alright, yeah, girl, talking to this girl. <laughs> and she was telling me about like 
her ex boyfriend died or always even in that even in the, even, <laughs> even in your, dream, your dreams you talking to some girl talking about her ex and stuff about her ex continue. <laughs> <laughs> Story of my life, bro. I can't get it. I can't, you know, can't beat it. <laughs> so she's telling me about, like, I don't know if it's her ex boyfriend or just someone evil. It was like an evil dude. <laughs> so the next thing you know, I'm like, evil. <laughs> I'm like, evil. I think, I think, like, there's, you know, like in a, uh, in like the grudge, it's like a phantom, but like they scream real loud. <laughs> 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 no, but you know how like they, they scream real loud like Japanese horror like their yeah. face is there but they're like real ghostly and then like it's pale as shit. Yeah, like, and a little boy in, in yeah, yeah, so oh, okay. <laughs> Yamaha <laughs> <laughs> Nagasaki Toshiba. <laughs> it's so funny. Yo, first off, I'm gonna get back to my my ghost story. I'm not gonna forget it. But why did people just realize they weren't saying real? That's, that's dumb as shit. That's that is as shit. Uh, yeah, no. Borderline, I don't want to say the word, but borderline artation. <laughs> Tarnation. Tarnation. Oh, Tarnation. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because they're like, yo, why am I just realizing they're not really saying that? Like, they're not really talking Japanese. That's I'm how like, ignorant people are, bro. I'm like, so y'all really sat here and thought Toshiba, Nagasaki, Yamaha was really Japanese, like. I mean, it is, but they were. But, they but were, like, they they're were not the real, brain, right? They're really like people, that's why I'm like, yo, y'all, that's a shame, man. I was a young boy, even though I knew yeah, that shit. Like, like, I, I got, to, I'm watching this on the Toshiba. Right, <laughs> like, ass back on this TV. Right. <laughs> yeah, right. That's what I'm saying. Like, all the laptops to have y'all own is Toshiba. Have the like, you know what I'm saying? Like, this shit was. That shit had me like, like, what's wrong with this world? That's why, that scares me too. I'm about to have a panic attack. That, that <laughs> I'm like, y'all, oh, fuck. Y'all, re- and y'all creating too, young as hell. So right. That's I what know I'm, y'all oh, can't think to this joke. <laughs> but yeah. They gonna, next thing you know, they're going to be like, that that John I just said you, the Seth Rogen show, they're going to be like, I just realized that's a girl from Scary Movie. I'm like, all right. Yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> what, what, I have, what I had with that was, um, because I didn't realize, like, you know, Bill Burr. I had started watching him like when he started doing like a lot of like Netflix stand ups and like yeah. everyone on stream and shit shit and I was like, Oh this is a funny ass white dude. But then I didn't realize like that I watched Breaking Bad, I'm like, oh shit and then I was watching all these other shows, I'm like, Oh shit, that's Bill Burr and then I watched <laughs> Chappelle's show when he did the um the Samuel Jackson beer dr- uh skit. Oh yeah. And he's like, It's my beer, it'll Oof. get you drunk but he's yelling in like Bill Burr's ear. He's like, Why are you yelling? He's like, That's not I'm not yelling, that's just how I talk <laughs> Yeah. No, I noticed him when he was in the Heat or something like that with uh, yeah, Sandra Bullock. Too. He was, um, that's that's, that's one I, I definitely remember him in. But you know who I like? Michael Rapp- Michael Rappaport when he was in uh, <laughs> Next Friday. Yeah, he's cool. He's <laughs> annoying shit when he talks about sports. <laughs> no, he's he's funny, man. He's been walking around his neighborhood cursing, saying dumb shit about anything that's not in New York sports. It's like that fucking cocksucker. He's out, <laughs> he's out here missing free throws. Fuck LeBron James. And he just shuts <laughs> off his phone. <laughs> nah, he's funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like the one that you sent me today, just terrorizing people who just walked in. <laughs> Billy Eichner like, is no. so funny. I was like, yo, he's Bill, annoying as shit. Billy Eichner is hilarious, bro. He's no, he's so. Not. Yes, he is. Cause it's annoying. <laughs> if he bro, did that to me, I would honestly just curse him. But he's out. it's entertainment, bro. That's not that's nothing compared to what these people laugh at when. It, Bro, it's just an experiment. Like, you grab my girl's ass. That's not a social experiment. You just grab my girl's ass, dog. I'll just smack the shit out of you. Bro, relax, bro. It's a prank, bro. Fuck you ain't a prank. What the fuck? Yo. Like, that's... No, that's... Exactly. Like, you will really be out there laughing at that, and I can't get that shit. It's like nerdy white go- bull goes to the hood and calls everybody the N word. It's like, <laughs> it's wrong. Yeah, no oh shit. Yeah, what the fuck. Yeah, he expect you to get out of there peacefully. Yeah, okay. That was that bull Vitaly when he used to do that shit. He used to be like, uh, Joey Salas or the fuck bull name. Yeah, the the Russian boy he used to go in, like hood prank going wrong. Yeah, cause you, like they used to drive in a truck and blast her a lot of gunshots, and then have people running. And yeah, once I think I shot at. And I'm like, yeah, and you in the hood, dog. <laughs> Somebody thought you were shooting, and they heard where it's coming from, they're going right. to shoot back. <laughs> like, that's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> that's just a reaction. Yeah, it's not yeah. even like, oh, let's first figure out Some people what is going, what it is. <laughs> no, like, they on the news, like, I can't believe he shot at us. All we did was go to his neighborhood and blast music. Like, we were shooting. It was uncalled for. I mean, <laughs> it's like, some people fight, and some people take flight. It's like, <laughs> some right. people real. <laughs> and it wasn't with it. Loki, when I used to see people do that, I thought it was funny and I realized how serious it could be. 
Yeah, when I they gun at and just yeah. going off. <laughs> well, that's why they they do that shit for the younger audiences because even when I was when I first found it, I was like what, like twelve, thirteen. I found it funny at first, but then like I was got older, I'm like you really that shit like it. really that shit really crazy. Yeah, like you think it's funny until you realize like. Or like you think the whole thing with uh, throwing gallons of milk in the air and just splashing that's just funny until you realize <laughs> you somebody, were really, tell. somebody really got to deal with that shit. You know, <laughs> like we, oh, that used to they, you remember they started wrong, like they made it like in Philly they made a law out of it just because people kept doing it. I did not know they made it. No, bro, yeah. not a law, but just like, like there was a thing where like it's like if you did this. You did that's how dope. But wrong. did you ever peep all them drones was like, all these white kids up in the suburbs yeah, doing this shit yeah, without yeah. doing like that's what they was really it. said. Yo, bro, let's go out to the grocery store, just grab some milk carton and just toss it. In the air and just make somebody's life. <laughs> right away. Let's go, bro. <laughs> so they see jackass doing this shit like that, but you don't. The thing is, jackass get clearance, and they all, Jack, they most like most times they pay the venue to like do that. Exactly shit. what I'm saying. Yeah. It's not like jackass just goes and fucking terrorizes the store and then dips. They have to get clearance. They have to like you know sometimes pay the they people. Don't. Let's keep it. Sometimes yeah. they don't. Well, the thing is with that is like sometimes the venue could clearance them. But the people within it don't Any, have to like anything indoors. They get clearance for anything outdoors. They just do it. Yeah, like the old man with the balls on. <laughs> <That's the only laughs> no, but that's what Johnny was saying. He's like, a lot of times we try to work with people and like you know, try to get that waiver signed. But sometimes a lot of people just don't want to do it. So like sometimes we we can't ask enough people. Like we can't get everyone to ask, so we just blur their face out. And then some people when we do ask like and we like let's say like if I chose you to talk to mm-hmm. and then we did a whole skit with you and then we actually signed a waiver and you're like no and it's like now it's gonna be stupid like I can't really <laughs> use this he's like that's annoying but, but yeah stop the fucking pranks I don't know if people still do them but stop shit's annoying I mean it's turned to being pranks to just people there's not even it's just people being assholes yeah like, but I'm, like pranks are funny to a point where it's just like you scare for a little bit it's like ah shit, I'm just fucking with you and it's like ah that was good but now it's just like ah I pranked you it's like no you really gave me a black eye like <laughs> it's not cool no, no like, like the one fall down the stairs break like half my bones I'm glad you got me the hairbrush I'm glad some pranks just like worked its way to you know doing it to their friends rather than doing it to random people that's, that's what I'm saying like if you got to the point where it's not even <clears throat> or, like you ever seen uh, the drums on Instagram where it's like or like even YouTube I think they do it it's like they it's just like a bunch of friends that they prank each other like hardcore mm-hmm. or like they go to the gym together he'll like and they go in the showers and he'll take his clothes <laughs> and dip to the car I saw that drawn on Tumblr before yeah, yeah. so I, like <laughs> you have to run from the front door to the car like yeah. that's naked and then they used to do the like ones. friends though so it's like yeah you like they're obviously they take it to that degree so they like it's like obviously you know to fuck with him because they do that to each other all the time yeah. you're not gonna do that to a stranger the, there's these ones these pranks that we're supposed to believe you were asleep the whole time. A bunch of your friends grabbed you, picked you up, put you in a river, no, and you no, stayed no, asleep those, the whole time. No, there's, there's, all right. So there was, those are, there are some that are fake, and then there's some where they, the guy, the person will get like fucked up, drunk. All right, that's understandable, that and that's when they fuck <laughs> up. That's that's, that's, that's understandable because like he's passed out there. cold, but like it's different with if, if like you fall asleep. There's no way in the world you're that deep of a sleeper. I'm a deep sleeper, but I wake up when my mom comes in my room because I'm like, yo, what the fuck? <laughs> that bright ass light wakes me up, and I'm like, yo, chill. Like, so like, there's no way in the world you just fell asleep, and the next thing you know, they <laughs> ten motherfuckers is picking you up by your mattress and putting you in the fucking water. Like, you gonna wake up at some point. They not gonna have a smooth ride yeah. over there. Somebody's gonna hit a pothole. You gonna, and you gonna like, yo, like what the fuck. Yeah, some people get like just they just get drunk, so then they really deep into a sleep, and then that's it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying with them. Yeah, but, that's why that's why you see the things where like people are like drawing on a person's face yeah, yeah, and they yeah. don't wake up, or like the, you ever seen like the uh, the Toy Story one that they do? The toaster. Toy Story. Toy Story. Toy Story. No. Did I say oh, toy story or did I, say, I heard oh, toy no, story. I couldn't hear because you're facing that direction. <laughs> I, I heard toy story. That's all I heard. <laughs> but you know I can barely hear anyway, so. <laughs> Someone. <laughs> yeah, Toy Story. Like they were like. They'll just put strings on like all their limbs and just like, oh, like playing. The, oh, I've never seen that. Yeah, they'll start like playing the song and shit. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, evil ghost. Evil ghost. Also, no, going to stay on this topic. I'm going to say, you, uh, to, going back to the milk cartons, you know not to do that shit. Like, we know not to do that shit because one, we're not retarded. <laughs> I said it. <laughs> two, <laughs> two, it's just 
fucking wrong. Three, it three, to one. <laughs> three, three, it's <laughs> no, three. If you work in retail, you fucking know that shit sucks because this lady, I mentioned it before, but I'll keep mentioning it, it was so fucking stupid. The orange juice the, was <laughs> the singles was all the way at the bottom. She dropped it and it fucking went all over it. I'm like, so once you throw it up in the fucking air because it's already low to the ground, when'd you drop it? Like, up here, you're not that tall, you're shorter than me. So what the fuck, you just, fuck this shit. She's like, she came up to me. There's no pulp. Right? She came up to me and she's like, hey, I spilled all this shit. So I'm like, it seems like she how old are you? Just, yeah, I'm like, just this by throwing it. Um, I'm like, how old? But it was so crazy because, you know, it has a seal too. And like, so yeah, the, the little plastic drums, the Tropicana drums. Yeah, so like, so I'm like, <laughs> give me a free one. <laughs> and I was, I was just about to clock out. She's like, hey, I spilled some orange juice. I'm like, how old are you, five? <laughs> You're like <laughs> 40. <laughs> you should have been like, all right, there's a mop over there. <laughs> I'm like, I'm about to clock out, so do you? <laughs> well, I'm off, so. <laughs> I'm like, yo, here's the keys, all right? Um, <laughs> yo, I remember one time. Lock up, all right? Sometimes I would have to wear someone else's name tag. I'll be like, I should do some reckless shit to a customer. They'd be like, what's your name? I'm like, Richard, bitch. <laughs> Try to go ahead. <laughs> I don't know who it was, but I remember his name was Richard. Uh, he was making me feel very bad. Um, <laughs> he, he didn't treat me at all. Any <laughs> value. I, had some, I, had, uh, I, remember, I think I told y'all that one time I had to, I forgot mine at the crib. So I wore some boy named George that worked for us. And, this, <laughs> you know, since I'm, you know, I... Kind of look Puerto Rican or whatever, I guess. Some girl was like, thanks for hey. I'm like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Don't call me that. <laughs> I'm like, why would you call me that? Why would you say ill? Because I'm like, because I forgot I was wearing it. I'm like, why would you just call me Jorge? Like, yeah. I was just like, ew, why would you? Was the person Hispanic? <laughs> no, she was like no, white. And I'm I'm like, I can't picture somebody actually just like enthusiastically just standing there like thanks for <laughs> <She's> like, <"Have laughs> day for <him."> like, what? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I just would have been smiling. So just just like, coming out of your mouth. <laughs> or hey. <laughs> oh, you can tell like she's been waiting to find somebody. <laughs> she's like been waiting to use her fucking college level <laughs> Spanish. Her Spanish, her Spanish <laughs> water in high school. She's like Encantado. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> mucho gusto hasta luego <laughs> buenos tarde <laughs> buenos dias Jorge <laughs> it's like I teach high school Spanish <laughs> I'm so glad she leaves she's like wow that felt really good <laughs> I think I'm improving hey, mom I'm really getting my money's worth <laughs> <laughs> is that a stone it's such a steal <laughs> no, I can't. do you listen to that um, person what's his name J Balvin <laughs> I'm more of an Ozuna, if I'm honest with you, but... <laughs> more of an Asuna, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jorge. <laughs> he was like, ew. <laughs> I still, I would have just been like looking at it like, is she talking to me? <laughs> like, I, thought that's bro. That, I thought that that's where this was going, you were going to be like, what? And you're just like, Jorge, like, that's your name, right? Like That's, no, that's sometimes because I will forget. And like I'm like oh shit I, I forgot I got this on because <laughs> uh, there was one time the manager, one of the, the hiring manager came in and she was like why do you have Jorge's name tag on and I'm like she's like why do you have George's his name is George so why do you have George's name tag on and I'm like I do <laughs> I was like oh, okay I just okay wait so George isn't Puerto Rican right no he's a white so, boy, so, ginger, so, ginger so that boy. just makes me crack up because I'm just thinking I'm like yo like and it's, really? not, it's not spelled like Jorge right? that's what no, I'm saying spelled, yeah. no it's was this no? Yeah, it was G O G E O. So it wasn't J. I'm saying here it was J. Really no, it was think. <laughs> no, 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 it was <laughs> it was it was G E O. Yeah. So it was a white person's way of spelling. It was like that's a, that's what makes it funny because it's like yo like this person's name that's like any way like that. And on top of that, like he, <laughs> he's not Puerto Rican, so he's not even expecting someone to say that. Yeah. So imagine him come. Imagine him being there with that person, and then he's just like, "Thanks for it." He's so just you, probably like, "So you got racially profiled, <laughs> right? like, <laughs> like dead ass." Because it, it was a white guy's name, and then they but y'all the remember, y'all remember when the bull came speaking to me in Arabic, right? Because he thought oh, I was Muslim. 
And then we was in Kidoba and the bull said it by the throw off we was asking you if you were eating in or out. Yo! He looked at me and he was like, Yo, I like, looked at Vic and I'm like, get <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, some help. It's like, um, yo, what's up with the white people? I just beat, yo. <laughs> That's <laughs> racist. That was Hispanic, though. So now I'm racist, because I thought he was white. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, was, he was just, uh, he just had red hair, the bull. See, y'all, see, that ain't the racial shit, man. Y'all fucking me. It's like, no way. Freaking Canelo is Mexican. He's ginger. That's what I'm saying. He's like a pure yo, ass. If you don't hear him talk, you think he's a pure yo, ass white boy. And he, he go to interviews like, Mexican, bro. Pero si. Anyway, I'm going to fight. I love to fight for me. Go to Mexico. Bro, I thought Canelo was like Connor's cousin. <laughs> that's, that's how white he is, bro. And I'm sitting here like. And he's built, and then you hear him talking. But I'll see. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like yo, how do y'all talk better English than this fool? Like, <laughs> all right, you throwing out fool because he Mexican, bro? So not like, even. Yeah, not yeah, even. Forehead. What's up with you? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, Jess. <laughs> yeah. It was funny today because I had my my like my second fight before I came over here for class. Um, the teach my regular professor, he wasn't there. He had to go like do some conference or some shit. I feel like every teacher always said they got a conference. They just at home playing right there. Yeah, like, <laughs> but the bull came in today and I actually met the, the guy before this class, like, uh, who was proctoring the, the exam. But it was funny because he was like, All right, who's ready? And everybody, <laughs> he does not like the big one. Everybody was like, Every, every, everybody, everybody in agreement laughed a little bit and was like, Yeah. <laughs> Like, it was drunk. Drunk. Is this the guy? Who's ready? <laughs> this guy? Oh, yeah, he <laughs> Yo, I would dead. It just brings out your inner child out of nowhere. It's like, oh, God, I don't know where that came from. Sorry. That's funny. Yeah. The evil ghost. Right. <laughs> oh, I forgot to tell you something. <laughs> um, I know you're right. I fight. I to fight again. <laughs> no, but, it. going, going back to the ghost, basically, it was just crazy because... When I saw him, I was a little, I was a little scared, cause you know I be seeing like demons and shit, like I be making apparitions in my head. But like I seen him and I started like describing him, and I'm like, I think he's right in front of you. And she's like, I feel him, and then it was like crazy, cause then another boy that was there was like, I, I, I could see him, I feel him too. How many bulls are in there? <laughs> he getting jumped in his dream. So. Like. <laughs> so <laughs> So like the bull was just like evil as shit, and I remember like I woke up a little bit and I was scared because I felt like he was behind me in real life. So I was scared to turn around, man. I was <laughs> close my eyes and make sure, man, it won't kill me, dog. Kill me, bro. Fuck it. Why? Why you got your head up over here, Bob? What? One more head? Good. <laughs> I was talking to him, making him think you know I was facing food. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, you know what's funny? You just put your head up. Scary movie three. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when he's like, "Who's with me?" And this yeah, was like, point point and kick, kick, kick. Yeah, yeah. He's like, like "Yeah." <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, cut it. <laughs> <laughs> they're like, "Yo, your hood." He's like, "Yeah, we got the hood now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're accepted now. We're in the hood." <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Out. <laughs> Yo, it was so funny. I, Every time he got thrown out somewhere, he would always get up like nothing happened. Like he got out thrown out the window in that scene. You did yeah. the same thing where he was just like, ah, I'm done. I'm just like, what? I forget. There's like, oh, when he got thrown out in the funeral, he's like, Brenda, you're alive! Just, just like shaking the shit out of her. Yeah, so bring so back to life. <laughs> then I this he was trying to breathe. Like, <laughs> like, yo. I was too. He was sniffing in. Um, I came. I literally can't breathe out of this one. <laughs> All right, dog. Hey, the instrument. <laughs> the, you used to make commercials with the old head. Yeah, he's, he's like, he's like grandpa's music. playing Flight of the Bumblebees. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, All right, bro. Ew, why does it have really, a heartbeat? You're just gonna hear that. You're <laughs> gonna hear that. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> They put that you get your watch out Metro Boomer gonna call you in a couple of days. Yeah, that shit was hot, bro. Do it to the phone real quick. <laughs> yo, yo, put it right to the mic, bro. No, yo, real we're quick. Since it happened just yesterday, can we bring up Kanye 
fighting himself on Twitter. Like he was, yo, sub tweeting at in Drake. I don't, I don't even want to get that deep into it, just because it's like you know he you know, could he really like you could tell it's just publicity because he really could have just had that conversation one on one. Instead, so he decided to take the Kardashian method of just tweeting out all your family business to the world just so for people could talk about you. And I literally tweeted, I don't know if y'all seen it, but I was like, it looks like Yandy's almost done. Yeah, yeah, so because, like, there's no other reason other than that to, like, and to also tie into that same idea is, like, with Kodak. You seen what happened with Ebro and shit? Literally, that shit happened yesterday, and everybody's talking about it. Kodak dropped the album today. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like, uh, like I said, like, I don't want to get, because anytime there's always beef with celebrities, you literally can't think that much into it because literally the next day something else could just be like popping off yeah. like you don't know the whole story exactly. so i don't want to like get too deep into it well, it that... was funny though reading it because i was talking to victor before we recorded when before you got here i was like yo it's so annoying because he's tweeting stuff out like halfway because he'll be like like i told him i was like yo it's like a like an episode of dragon ball z like right when it finishes and it's like oh like find out next time because he'll be like yo tweet one thing out he's like oh yeah i just got a call from drake he called me then like 10 minutes later he was like Oh, he tried threatening me and my family. I'm like, yo, what the fuck would you just tweet? First of all, no, but like, that's what I'm saying. Like, all I want to say is like, what did Drake really say to you that you took as a threat? Because knowing dumb, it could have been anything along the lines of, well, then I guess you're not coming to my birthday party. You're like, oh, so you threatening me? So you threatening me that I can't go to your birthday party? Like, you no, know, like, you know where it all started from, right? Yeah. We're basically like, <laughs> yo, but real quick, bro, I'm so sorry. There was a fake I'm account. So there was a fake verica- sorry, verified verified like account. Yo, there was a fake verified account uh, that had Ye's profile picture and uh, oh, his name. And I, at first, it caught me off guard. I'm like, "What?" Because I saw the other at and it said Jared eats tweet some shit. Jared. And then um, Jared. the boy was like, uh, "Even though Drake fucked my wife, this and that," and I'm like. That's not yay. <laughs> I'm like, that's that's fake. Cause somebody retweeted it. I'm like, that shit caught me on guard. I was like, what the fuck? But, um, Go ahead, muffle up. Yeah, no, you were saying you go. You, you, no, you, you, were, you, you were the one who got caught. But off. yeah, the whole thing with like Kanye was just like Drake wanted to be on with yourself didn't happen. Then Drake was that again? I'm sorry, I, just, I really didn't hear you. <laughs> Drake wanted to be on with yourself the scoop of the okay, song. Yeah, he wanted that. Oh, yeah, he yeah. wanted that beat. And then Drake was like, or Kanye was like, yeah, you can have it. Then Kanye went, like, which Kanye has done always. He's like, no, like, no, wasn't it? All right, Quentin. Wasn't it Kanye? How many times is this going to happen? I'm talking on the basis of you. Don't no, relax. <laughs> I was still in sentence. <laughs> no, he wasn't. Yes, all right. Yeah. Yeah. Say no, go ahead. No, it's cool. Go ahead, bro. You already coming out? Go ahead before you forget. No, go ahead. Don't forget. Just go ahead, bro. You keep doing this and I'm going to forget. You I lost my train of thought. Well, I was going to say, wasn't, wasn't it Kanye who wanted Drake on Lift Yourself? Mm-hmm. Sure about that? 100%. He wanted the beat to lift yourself. Yeah, I remember that. Oh, he offered the beat to him, though. It wasn't that Drake really wanted it. He was like, I got these beats. I'm going to let you listen to it. You let me listen to, uh, what was it, Drake's name? Scorpion Scorpion and shit. Yeah, so he's like, yeah, I'll I'll give it to you. He said, yeah, you can have it. And then Kanye went and spit on it and dropped it. Mm -hmm. So he was like, damn, that's kind of grimy. Then Drake went to... Fucking, what was what was it that he did? That? It was like Wisconsin or some shit. And basically wrote and produced the whole album with him. And then basically had a heart-to-heart place Corby for him left. And that's when all that stuff where Pusha hopped into beef. <coughs> which was already kind of like happening before, but it popped up again. And then he was like, mm-hmm. he basically exposed the whole baby situation because of that beef. And he's like, where could you have found that out from? Only person I told was Kanye. And then the whole thing came out where it actually wasn't from Kanye. It was from his boy Noah because he fucked some John. He told the John, and the John told Pusha, and then Pusha put everything out there. So that was where the whole beef came from. So it's not just something where it was just like, oh, he said something that was whatever. Because ever since then, they were beefing, he started coming at him nonstop. Come on, guys. Pusha just trying to be relevant again. I mean, he got album of the year going right now. He's nominated for a Grammy, and Drake's not for album. I just don't like Pusha. Okay. Should be grown men about this. <laughs> no, I, I just don't see exactly like why it's getting so Yo, deep. You scared the shit out of me. My bad. All right. <laughs> um, I just don't know why it's getting so deep like this. Like it shouldn't have to go like this to get something solved. Like I don't know. And then I was just coming about it. It was just like then Kim 
came out and was basically like saying like, oh yeah, you know, you, you know what, don't burn my husband and stuff like that. I'm just like, all right, we, we've gotten the basis of it from Kanye. We don't need you now. She tried to delete that tweet, I think, too. We just don't need you to verify it. Like, we, we obviously are all here on Twitter. You know, we're on the same social <laughs> media app. Like, we, we see it all. You know, if we follow, we see it. So, I mean, it's not like it's anything new if she says anything. It's like, okay, we still get it. It's still happening. Like, <laughs> Drake, Drake hops in and tweets, I, th- I threatened him. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Drake is so unbothered by it, too. Like, Well, Drake's not even a Twitter person. Like, you know, yeah. So, you know, I, all he had on his Instagram story, but it was way before Kanye even started tweeting. He was just like laughing emoji faces on his story. And that was basically it. But that could have been for anything. Maybe he just watched a funny movie. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I just feel like there's a lot of people. Maybe he just watched the center of pocket. I just, <laughs> I just feel like there's a lot of people that are like, you know, aren't Twitter, you know, people. They don't, yeah. yeah. You know, like, <laughs> I feel like the only person who really is that famous is Kanye, who actually uses, uses Twitter regularly. But he don't even use it. It's just like whenever he's just whenever he's in the mood, whenever he's in the moment and, you know, mood to, you know, want to do that. Kanye deleted his grand bill. Y'all saw that? Cause I I had added him about I was like yo what you, what you talking about this and that and then um it let me add him but then when I went to go on my DMs it said Instagrammer it says this Instagrammer you can't like you can't see the messages I'm like I looked at the messages I'm like yo that's Kanye I'm like Kanye just deleted his grin because you remember the two Jones when I hit him up before when I was like I hit I ain't hit up your girl I'm like oh the fuck but. And I'm um, also going to talk about Twitter. You said not a lot of people on Twitter. That episode with Lin-Manuel for Billy uh, Billy on the Street. He he ran up to a girl and she was like, oh my God, Lin-Manuel. He's like, yeah, do you follow him on Twitter? She's like, I don't have Twitter. He's like, why? <laughs> <laughs> she's like, how do you stay up to date? And she's like, I don't know. I don't, he's like, oh my God. He just walked away. <laughs> she was like, I, I had a lot to say, but yeah. I was okay. He's only 40 characters. He's like, just make a thread. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, make a thread. It's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then the girl there was one girl uh, she's like we I was uh, I mean fan art for Garfield and he's like oh <laughs> like Billy was like okay let my wife give her a hug and he's like okay let's go he's like I can't be with this <laughs> he's like I can't be next to this person <laughs> yeah that's, that's such a weird thing to make fan art for but at least she got on a book yeah with Manuel Miranda that's pretty cool but yeah I'm gonna make fan art for who I don't know, uh, Dragon Ball be kid, I'll just draw a stick figure. <laughs> Some easy ass fan art. <laughs> I'll do fan art for bone books and I'll, uh, I'll do, i draw a bone. Alright, where can they find you, Mark? <laughs> <laughs> you can find me on Instagram and Twitter, Mark. Yeah. Mark Quinn, where can they find you? Probably on Instagram and Twitter, Young Q, at Q, et cetera. <laughs> you almost said Young Q, et cetera. <laughs> <laughs> no, I started laughing because I'm at Jorge. <laughs> at Jorge, et cetera. <laughs> um, no, <laughs> yo, real quick. Why my aunt yesterday saw my hoodie, right? And she's like, she she asked how to say it because she was like, when I first looked it out, she was like, etc. <laughs> What's that mean? I was like, the center, right? Because <laughs> uh, I don't know if you guys you guys don't know this because me and Vic really talked about it. Um, Do you know what he just said there? <laughs> what I said? Just keep going. No, I said. Um, I, I, you asked us. I didn't know what you said either. Well, no, because I, I was saying like what part. The, well, you said uh, we're not allowed to talk about it, and then you said. No, no, no. I said I don't. I don't know if you guys know, but I said no. Me and Vic don't. Y'all don't know because me and Vic never talked about it on here. Was um, there you go. So you guys know Basement Yard. You guys know Joe Santagato. Well, his brother has a Twitch and he streams, and so. I hosted his channel on our Twitch. So when you host, they get the notification. So he, he saw the host and he was like, he went to go say our name. He at least attempted. He said, thanks, Roletta Satetta <laughs> for the host. Yo, I started dying. I'm like, yo, this man is just like totally botched our name. But it's cool. Like, our name, well, the Twitch name is like all one word, right? It's all one word, real. You can't do anything about it. I was going to say, probably put like a, Dot or something. But no, or yeah, like. Or um, but it was just, I just found it funny. Um, and I sent it to Vic. I was like, in a, I like uh, I think I woke up and I was like, hey, Vic, you want to see something funny? He was like, question mark. <laughs> I just sent it to him. But yeah, so that's why I'm like, why can't people say our name right? 
I don't know. You gotta put in first letter, um, uppercase. I think it's because a lot of people don't see etc spelled out. But yeah, find uh, but find yeah. me on Instagram and Twitter, Q, etc. Uh, Twitch, um, Twitch TV slash Real etc. And Vic, we're gonna find you in the Real Center team. Find me on Instagram and Twitter, Young Dagger Vic. I might change that again. Think about it. I'm getting tired of it. And then it's the set of cuz I just want it to be my name, but somebody already has my name. <laughs> I the other board too. The set of stuff is real, etc. Not Roletta Ro- Satera, not etc. Not etc. Et whatever the et dumb shit y'all can put up. <laughs> you remember that girl? So, <laughs> she's like, she's like, how do you say your name? Uh, Cassatera. Yeah, <laughs> I was like, like, cute. Come on, my God. Like, uh, <laughs> love y'all. See you next week. Bye.